up guys and welcome back to another PC Part Review. Today we are looking at the Genu B660M VDH motherboard. This is a 12th gen MATX motherboard. Now Genu was nice enough to send me a trial motherboard for me to test out. This is going to be an honest review on the Genu B660M VDH motherboard. Straight off the bat, presentation is as you would expect. It comes in this nice little box and you get a SATA cable as well as your IO shield. The motherboard itself came on top of this uh, foam piece and it was underneath this in a anti-static bag. That's definitely what you want when you're buying a motherboard, an anti-static bag. Definitely no complaints with presentation. It was definitely presented very well. The detailing, just as you would expect from any motherboard. It has the chipset on here and it tells you the type of CPU that it takes, which is the LGA1700. The brand is Jinyu. And these are the typical features of this motherboard. Going straight into the motherboard, we are presented with a white background PCB board. Definitely different to your typical black or gray. And pleasantly surprised with the presentation of the motherboard. It is a two dim motherboard, meaning that it only has two channels for your RAM, so it still runs off dual channel, and it is a DDR4 motherboard. It has all your typical connections. Um, you still have PS2 connectors here, as well as a DP port, HDMI, and a VGA. In total, you have four USB 3.0s, two USB 2.0, your Ethernet port, and your typical mic line-out, and your speaker port. It has a reinforced PCIe time 16 slot for your graphics card that's a good bonus right there and it also has this heat sink for your motherboard and heat sinks for your VRMs I believe that's what that is there your capacitors showing it also has a M2 slot for NVMe or NGFF and it also has a M2 Wi-Fi slot as well it has four SATA ports, so you're able to install four unless you use a external SATA controller. A very decent motherboard. Looking at the back here, the board itself isn't warped. Very straight and the solder points are definitely solid. Yes, they could be a little bit smaller, but I would rather have a solid solder point than have it a little bit smaller and have a chance of it breaking and then losing connection. Definitely a solid motherboard here. The LGA1700 socket here is also of great quality. You can see it has the typical four torque screws and your lever here is definitely very strong. We push down, let out to the right and lift. We have a lever here, you pull on back and Looking at the socket, no bent pins, very, very nice. Very impressed thus far with this Jinyu B660M motherboard. Definitely a contender when comparing it with every other B660 motherboard. You have your typical HD audio port, you have your COM1 port, then you have your front USB port here. You also have your USB 3.0 port right here, so that's good. When looking at a motherboard, you want to take note of your features. What one has to offer compared to all the other motherboards on the shelf. And although this isn't a typical brand motherboard that you would find in a typical retailer, you would still want to compare it to a typical motherboard that you would find in a retail shop. Have a look at the features that's, that this has to offer compared to something like, say, an MSI or, a, or an ASUS. We have a 8-pin CPU port here, which is good. I would rather the 8-pin rather than just 4. That way you are able to 
overclock better because you're able to produce more power to your CPU. You also have your 24 pin ATX right here. The positioning of it is, is fine. I mean, usually the eight pin sits up here, but that's okay. You have your CPU fan header here, as well as another system fan next to it. You also have another system fan here down at the bottom, which is only three pin, but that's fine. Everything seems to be as you would expect. And another bonus is that it has the LED debugging right here. So you can see you've got LED boot, LED GPU, LED DRAM, and LED CPU. So if any of these are lit up when you boot, you know that there is a problem with that specific hardware. At the bottom here, we can see that we have a PCIe times one. Now, they have made this um, a little bit different. Usually a PCIe times one finishes about here, but they've made this a little bit longer, meaning that you can also install, say, PCIe card and it will still work because it isn't restricted by how long it is here it doesn't have a stopping point here is a time 16 slot that you would normally plug into here right but because it doesn't have the closed off pcie port you're still able to plug this in and as you can see it would still read it's really just designed to hold a PCIe times one. I am definitely impressed with this motherboard. It seems like a lot of thought has gone into it. They didn't just wing it and throw together a motherboard that they could sell. It definitely feels very solid. Just the way everything is presented. There was a thought process when designing this motherboard. And I would definitely recommend it. I mean, if you are looking for a motherboard on a budget, that will still be able to perform in every way, just like any other motherboard on the market. Considering a Jinyu B660M for your 12th or 13th gen CPU is definitely an option. Very impressed with what they have come up with when it comes to a MATX motherboard that has two DIMMs for your RAM and four SATA ports, as well as an M2 slot and a Wi-Fi M2 slot as well. The one real drawback is that it doesn't have any ARGB headers. That is just the one thing I have to point out. I'm just going to put this together and uh, we will run it and see just how well it performs. If there is a difference in BIOS design, how it all comes together overall. Let's open this up. Open this lever up. As stated earlier, this is the 12400. Remember, there is a triangle on here. So match that to the triangle on your cover. Grab it from the sides because there is no wall here. Match your notches and just drop it in and let gravity do its job. Close it. Push down on this and this will flick off now. Ensure this clips over the top, press down and slide under. Open up your RAM slots, match the notch of your RAM slot, DDR4 in this case, and simply click down. Do the same other RAM slot, install our M2 SSD. I'm just going to leave it like this just to ensure that it reads, but we are basically going to be running this SSD with the games on it. To install the 12th gen standard CPU cooler comes with its own thermal paste already. What I like to do is instead of waiting to turn all these, I do them all now. To install it, all I do is simply just line up my screw holes like so, right? And then I just push down and let it click. When you hear that click, you know that it is successfully seated. Four, then Simply plug this in CPU fan number one, which is that one right there. SSD installed, RAM installed, CPU fan cooler installed. CPU, ATX, power cable. Let's jump it. We can see that it is powered by Onda. It is great to see that the BIOS user interface has updated to this type of 
interface. I was going to be really disappointed to see if this was that blue screen. That would be not very good at all. Have an interface that is user friendly and also easy on the eyes. Double check everything is the way it's supposed to be. RAM is running at 3200 megahertz, 16 gigabyte RAM. So that's great. It's good to see that it can run Windows 11. Let's run 1080p. We can even go to 1440p here. This is the recommended resolution 16 by 900 because that is the native resolution of this exact monitor. So let's just select 1080p for now. Open up, say, Destiny. And let's just see how well it runs. All right, let's just run a quick game and uh, see how it goes. Got him. to fade away cause every time i wake up i feel like it's monday something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain all of a sudden i don't look at anything the same way gotta build up on my thoughts sitting in an ashtray i'm sorry that i'm so inconvenient okay just let me be me and i'll stay out of your way i can see the way you look at me i'm such a disgrace i never really asked to be brought into this place you wanna love me 
well then baby have a taste All the highs and the lows No, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why Try to stay